Greetings, everybody. Retro Gamer here. For the last game, we're going to be playing for Highlight for Highlight week, week for now. Because right now, we're playing one of the games on this collection for, for Windows that contains the first three games. Actually, not the first three games. They're only the free. Yeah, Highlight... Both, yeah, they have, and for the, and for one and three, they have both the original P, the for, for the well for the original version, the PC88 version, and for two and three, the NSX versions. For some reason, they didn't include a redone version of two. I don't know why, but I'm not going to be covering two and three right now. Just focusing on one. Now it's showing the redone graphics version. This is the Windows version of Highline. And uh, here's the menu, menu. As you can probably guess, the game is entirely in Japanese. Which, given this has no dialogue, is not an issue. The only issue is the menus. Which is, the menus are actually, pre are actually pretty simple here. This top menu changes the game speed. In fact, I'm going to be changing this down to the lowest setting now, so I'm not completely butchered by enemies. This one changes controls the volume. This one changes the graphics between the uh, this version, the redone version, the first Windows version, and the PC88 original. And you probably told from my previous videos, I'm not too fond of the PC88 version. And given that this is basically a graphically retouched version of the PC88 version, um, <laughs> not too fun. This changes to full screen, which I'm not going to be doing. This is this is save, load, qu quit, return to game. And I don't know, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually music here. And music is actually good. It still doesn't hide the fact that this game is 32 years old, unfortunately. But man, who are bothered with a version of Highlight with good music? Yeah, this version was released in, I want to say, around 2002. No, 2001, 2002, I want to say. And it contains all three Highlight games this one, the second one, and the third one. The second one, the first one does a graphical swap thing. I don't know why I don't do it for a second one. I mean, the second one feels like a game that they barely like mentioning. So yeah, I'm just gonna be playing a little bit of this thing. Now the thing of adjusting game speed is really helpful, especially for healing. Now that it does any good against the last boss, because the last boss here, I'm convinced, is impossible to kill. Now we can kind of save. Yeah, those all saves from a failed playthrough. And if you're wondering why we kept testing escape and kill myself in the NSX2 version the other day, that's why. Because I kept trying to get through this thing and I kept coming across this menu. So yeah, graphics-wise, this is definitely the best of the games. Unfortunately, that didn't transfer into gameplay. In fact, it felt like that they took all the worst parts of the highlight and magnified them here. Saying that they use it for some reason they decided to use the PC88 original version as their basis instead of say the NSX2 version. Which would have been better. Yeah, they did it for highlight two and three. Why did one have to be stuck with this thing? Because as I said before, and I'll say it again, I think the PC88 version of Highlight is probably the worst of them all. I mean, I don't know, there's some sort of weird perks out the PC88 as a whole. I've noticed I've tried playing a lot of games on it lately. 
to the point where I'm probably going to stop getting PC88 versions of the games and instead of going right for MSX2 MSX or MSX2 versions. So I'm going to right now be killing, no, at least killing these guys. Actually, let's see what put doing this at max people do. Let's see. Causes Jin to go eight shit. Allows me to heal really fast, but I'm not going back to here. More fun experience, and it doesn't look like he's going ape shit. But yeah, they did not fix a whole lot of issues with the game. Which you'd think in a remake they would have done! Especially for issues that. Most that mostly fall to go back to aging hardware. So yeah, I'm not gonna be playing too much of this thing. Over and sh just showing the bits of the um, of, of update graphics. Like let's see, those ropers over there. The zombies. They actually look like zombies. They're like. Rawr, rawr, rawr. And watches Jim that keeps walking through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, I'm not a lot to see here for Hide Life for the PC for PC today. That I, can't, I, can't, I haven't already said about other versions. Other than that, it's a graphically retouched version, and it's the only one that has good has decent music. But for some reason, though, the game's but. The game, but, well, with the graphical retouch, this game feels like it feels like a game, ma uh, like some cheap game maker game that some guy, that some kid with no knowledge of game design made, or limited knowledge, which more or less fit the um, state of things back in, when the game was made in 1984. And I'm not gonna really be boring anyway with the I'm just doing grinding, but I might I'll show a couple, a couple other sections of the game. First, let's see what I can well, so I can load, or second, I can load up. Just to show what the last boss looks like in this version. Yeah, there's Morales! Cash looks really cool here. But I'm convinced that he's unbeatable, because there's no place to stop and heal! But who knows, maybe things will be different this time. He also seems like he's impossible to hit. Oh, can I? Do I have him from the side to hurt him? It feels like in the enemy movements of this thing is impossible to beat. But who knows? Maybe from this I'll actually be lucky and defeat this guy. What's the point of having a light bar when I'm dead in a few hits? That's another thing. They take your life way too quickly. And he takes next to no damage. Ah, he no damage! But I'm, con I'm convinced that the PC-88 version, by extension this version, is unwinnable. He deals way too much damage, and I'm in the fend mode, I might add. At max level. And he's taking no damage. Let's see, that's a good snapshot of the end of the game. And how unfair this stupid thing is. 
Well, the main thing is that I can't really get, I can't step still and stand hill and still and heal because there are enemies surrounding me and right now in this poisonous stuff. And I unfortunately cannot use the trick I used in the MSX2 and NES versions. That basically boiled down to standing in the previous room in a spot that no enemies reach. And healing. Um, that was a huge chunk of health there. He just took out a single hit. Yeah, I ain't gonna try anymore. Hmm. Yeah, attack is instant suicide. And defend isn't? Yeah, whoever made this game was... There was something... There was something going on with them. It's like, who decided that... And, oh, and it doesn't get any better using the PC-88 version either. And this is why I never saw footage of this version of the game. Especially not this far into it. Because it feels like they do everything they do the bullshit they can. So yeah, I also have a previous save. No, 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 it's not what I want to do, it's not what I want to do. And this is why I didn't want to go full screen. Yeah, it does that. So do a lot of old Japanese games and people. Yeah, so do a lot of old, other old Japanese games in the name. Yeah, a lot of Japanese games do that. A lot of really old PC games do that when you try to. Yeah, a lot of old Japanese games do that, or no, not, not just Japanese games, a lot of old PC games in general. They seem to do that on modern hardware when you try and put them in full screen. So yeah, you probably saw why I never did a play like, playthrough of that, because I found no way of getting through the end boss. Because there's no place to stand still five minutes and heal. And if I, you know, and if I set it to the highest speed setting, I would have been creamed in a matter of seconds. So I'm just going to keep killing these guys. I leveled up. Not that it matters. And I'm trying to think what more I can say about the Windows version. Oh, and it feels like a Game Maker game. And not a good one, either. <laughs> yeah, there's the way the enemy movements are, and it's weird when... when the, and it's weird, even wor weirder when considering the fact that this is a 32-year-old game. Or at least the original game is 32 years old. This version is not. Yeah, this ver yeah, this is yeah, this version is not quite as old, but still relatively old as far as PC games go. Because I want to say 2001, which in terms of PC games is a long time. So I'm more pointless grinding. There's really more to show about this game other than it being the best graphically and sound-wise. Not really. <laughs> And I think I've shown all I could of this. I mean, I showed the ridiculousness known as the end boss. And if anybody can give me any strategies for defeating the end boss in this version of the game, please tell me. Please, I'm most interested. And if someone gives me a trick that works, I might pick, I might show this game again.
so yeah, the end of this this is the end of my highlight week. I'm not gonna be covering two and three right now because I haven't really played a lot of those for one. And two, I want to put this franchise as far away from my mind as possible. Yeah, I'll be playing yeah, and not thinking about this franchise for a long time. But I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back probably tomorrow or sometime over the weekend with with some more great games from the past. Some some more old Japanese PC games. You know, old Japanese RPGs. Yeah, because I think one, one person that I'll show tomorrow will be a game called Xanadu. And then later on, this game, Legacy of the Wizard. And if any of you can figure out the connection these two games have, you'll know why I'm telling both of them. I'll, okay, I'll be mentioning it tomorrow anyway, but... <laughs> but perhaps if you already know the reason why, in the connection between Legacy of the, Her uh, the, Legacy of the Wizard and Xanadu. And, yeah, that's about all I can say about this game, about this version of High Life. Nothing spectacular at all. And I never thought I would say I missed miss the NES version. Yeah, see NES version of High Life? You're not... See NES version of High Life? You're not the worst version. The PC-88 version is, and this one, because it's saying essentially a graphically touch version of it. So at least this thing is beatable. Yeah, there's really nothing more I can say here. Well, until next time, everybody.